And if we have to honor you, we will find something to name after you. Even if, even if it is the walkover that costs two million by the pine. And we will name it the Frandell Stewart walkover because that is what you will be on election day. And Hammy, Hammy, I know they got people calling for that to be called the Hamila crossover. But Hammy, you might cross over again so we can find something else for you. And this report from Delal World shows that Barbados has reached a stage where action has to be taken. We don't want a bag of words no more. We don't want anybody telling us how much you care and love me. But yet you can't show me that I matter. I good, Tyrone, man. I good. We don't want nobody showing. I know you want to show me that I matter. <laughs> but trust me, I don't need that. What I want is the people of Barbados working again. What I want is money flowing in Barbados again. What I want and the Barbados Labour Party wants is to rescue Barbados. And we need everybody to vote Barbados Labour Party and help us to save Barbados, save this country, and restore yourself to this. This is now four good years. Today is the 18th of January. You remember when we go bus? Yeah. The 30th of January, 2009. Yes, yes. And your Prime Minister said to me in that parliament when I brought the no confidence motion in defense of the Clico policy holders, punish the motion with laughter. Well, the Clico policy holders in laughing. And come election day, Frandel, you too will not be laughing. They don't stop there. The people who went and took their money and went on red jet, you remember that? You remember that they can't get back their money? Stop telling me, Chris, that you care. And show me that you matter if I'm a red jet ticket holder and give me back my money. The people at Alexandra School, and, and this, believe you me, this is the worst of the worst of the worst. Because if a government cannot manage a simple situation at a school, how can it run a country? How can it run a country? And they're not the first government to have problems with schools. I had 30 teachers Say to Saab, and it wasn't Mary Redmond then, it was Leroy Trotman yeah. making noise about Quaridge and Paris School. Yeah. 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 And we sat down and we worked it out. We didn't sleep for a couple of nights, but we worked it out. And we showed the children at Quaridge and Paris that they mattered. But you have a government, 10 months. The report sits on the minister's desk. Then you have a prime minister who tries to write in. And then he tells you that this is phase one. And all of us breathe genuinely, even me. A sigh of relief that the people children will at least be able to get back to normal. And weeks pass, months pass, and nothing will happen. And when the people are asking about the phase two, he saw that pass long time. Oh, well, election night, when they're asking him about the seats, I want you to tell him, but they've gone long time. You can't take it no more. And as fate would have it, this afternoon on the 5.30 news, the leading item on the news was the private sector association of Barbados. You know, it's used every kind of thing. And look at the grid here on this thing. 49 million, yes. 735,000, yes, yes. and 92 dollars, yes. and 77 cents. Yes. The people in round it off, they tell them exactly what is owed to them. And almost, almost 18 million dollars is owed just from the government 
VAT returns and corporation tax. But as if that was not bad enough, almost $30 million is owed to people for goods sold, whether it is the hospital, whether it is the schools, whether it is the central government, whether it is diesel, and then for services provided to people. And you heard Wilfred just now ably point out that there are people who are not getting paid even though they are doing an honest day's work in this country simply because the government has no cash flow. Well, they wanted change, but you ain't getting no change. You ain't got change in your pocket. You ain't got change in your bank account. You ain't got change in your businesses. And I say to you, that payback time has come. Bet who bet you? That's what the old time people tell you. Bet who bet you? And every week, we go inside the parliament and we hear numbers because they can make enough noise because they got the numbers but you know what else is make a lot of noise you ever get in a car yet and put your foot on the accelerator and keep the car in neutral it's rev up boom 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 rev up and rev up and the car doing what not moving a single place and that is exactly what this government is doing keeping a lot of noise giving you a lot of long talk but at the end of the day no decisions are being made tourism down by three and a half percent but you know that the hotel workers know that the people who were Amman know that because they ain't working no more the people who were at Sandy Beach know that. The people who was at Pitch and Quiet know that. But the governor is finally confessing. Cruise tourism, down. Horace, you know that because I can find you most days now because you ain't running up and down in a taxi behind cool ship passengers. <laughs> a decline, not 5%. Not 10%, but cruise tourism, 15% down. Now I'm not calling arbitrary figures. Manufacturing, down. Agriculture, down by 2%. Construction, down by 3%. Building materials, down by 66 And that's not the price that is people importing. Employment in the construction sector, down by 7.7%. All I hear is D, 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 down, decline, dance, down, decline, dance. The soup one another. Sandel, you want the people of Barbados to count election time like how Chris Sinclair is counting money in the Ministry of Finance? Can I get it to add up? And I say to you tonight, honestly, Clico. Alexandra, last week Pine Hill Dairy Yogurt Plant closed down. The dairy farmers up in arms because if those cuts in production go through, a lot of dairy farmers will go out of business in this country. And when you count every entity that is being mashed up, I start to get to the police service commission and the confusion in the courts. I ain't get to the confusion in the law courts where the Chief Justice got be meeting the bar. I ain't get to the hospital and the confusion there because I don't have enough time tonight. But I can assure you that we will have we will have ample time. And I can assure you that over the next few weeks, it doesn't matter when he calls the date, the date has called itself. And that is why all of you are out here, because all of you are marching with your feet to a new drum. And you are only waiting for the curtain to come down. And when we tell you on your march, when we tell you get set, when I tell you, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to save Barbados? Yeah.
I don't want to talk to the Dems. I want to talk to the Dems. Because you know me. I tell you first that I'm a Bajan. And whether it is B, D, G, or F, we are all. We are all. And I know that many of them hurting in the heart because they can't believe a government could be so insensitive to the country and even to the own. And I'm saying to you, you know, sometimes in life, a person that you love is disappointing. This happens every day to people. It don't mean that you stop loving them, but sometimes you gotta take a stand. Sometimes you gotta say enough is enough. Sometimes they got people who look baby baby that might even want to steal a little love on the side. But what is happening to Barbados? What is happening to Barbados? We are at the edge like this. Little more and we over. I don't want to go further, but I don't want Barbados to go any further. And to build back this country, we are going to need all hands on deck. We're going to need bees. We're going to need bees. We're going to need PPs. We're going to need a new party. We're going to need the independence. We are going to need the Bajans living here. We're going to need the Caribbean people living here. We will need the visitors because what is before us can be fixed, but it needs everybody working, working in the same direction. And we give you the solemn commitment. That is why we can come out here. There is nobody that questions our loyalty to Parliament. There is nobody that questions our loyalty to Barbados. But when we say to you that circumstances have happened and unless we send a signal you can't get no decision for Pine Hill Dairy and the Dairy Farmers you can't get no decision for Ammon you can't get no decision for Clico people are not borrowing money banks not lending people are not building because everybody is waiting for the election to go